Hello, hello, mom and dad me world. So today we are going to be doing a thermal pad modification to this 13 inch M4 MacBook Air. This is the baseline model with 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, not 512, but 256 gigs of storage. But this is the one of the very few modifications you can actually do to this computer right here. So let's get the disclaimers out of the way first. So one, you're gonna to wanna to do this at your own risk, cannot guarantee anything, but whatever you choose to do or choose not to do uh, is going to be up to you. And then if you do have any sort of Apple Care or any sort of warranty on it, there is a high likelihood that if you actually do take this into Apple, it will actually void your warranty. So just know that before you actually start or attempt to do so. But uh, so what is the main purpose in doing this? Well, in doing the thermal pad modification, so this machine right here is not actively cooled like the MacBook Pro, so you want to eke a little bit more performance. So what this thermal pad does is actually pulls the heat from that uh, system on a chip, that CPU, GPU, all-in-one chip, and brings it up to the metal surface of this case right here. And so the drawback with that is your lap, whatever surface you put it on, if you do use a case, which we have, it will get hotter. But the, the, the performance benefit is you're pulling that heat directly off of there, so you're dissipating that heat, which will actually eke out a little bit more performance. And like other YouTube videos out there, it'll actually give you performance that is on par with like a MacBook Pro, which is really, really good. And there have been uh, points of battery, like uh, your battery will, will just not last as long because, well, it's just pulling more performance, more performance, less battery. So um, let us get on with this right now. So here is the front of it. There is the hinge. You're going to want a nice surface to set this down. And then there is the back hinge right there. So you're going to want to lay it down. We've got our desk pad right here. This right here is a thermal pad from the MacBook Air, the M1 modification we did. This is actually a 1.5 millimeter, so 200 by 200. This is a lot. You're just gonna need a teeny tiny bit, not this whole big section right here. And then we had actually bought a very inexpensive tool set right here from the local Lowe's. If you do have those infamous iFixit tool kits, you can also use that, but it's going to be a pentalobe 1.2 millimeter uh, head right here, which is exactly this one right here, pentalobe 1.2 millimeter right here. So I want to make sure you have this particular bit and then let us get started. So uh, other than that too, you're going to want to make sure, and this may not be included in the set, may, and it might be, it's going to be one of these. This right here will help around the edges and the corners. It'll help pull that case right off of there. It looks like a guitar pick. So what we're going to do, so this is the front part right here, the front where you will lift the computer up. That's facing towards me. The back hinge is going to be towards the top section right here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to start at the very, very top left corner. And we are going to just press down. And the screwdriver here is quite nice in a way that it will turn. So we're going to put this on the top left right here. Know the position of your screws. And then we are just going to work our way to the right and then down. We want to make sure we get everything nice and seated in the head right there pull those off there so again we're going to just know the placement then here at the bottom so those were relatively long screws at the top and at the bottom we're just making sure we are seated nicely in there and then on the bottom also nice long screws there last one all right so we've got our screws in that position and you can already hear it so I've got my fingernail right here but we're gonna just take this we're gonna run this plastic spudger right all along the side And you're going to hear that, that sound. That's the first clip. 
relift here, keep running it along here, and we're just going to keep running it along the outer part, and you're going to hear it every time we do break. We're not breaking a clip, but we are detaching the clip from the outer case. There we go, so we've got that. Keep going along here. Yet another clip. Okay, all right, so once you've taken this little piece right here, you've gone all around the sides, on the side, the bottom, this side right here, and you'll notice, you'll think everything is about off here. So right here, here's a tip. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna just keep prying up. What you're gonna wanna do is you're actually going to, you can take your hand right along here and press, and you're gonna pull back, pull this back towards you, and you're gonna press forward also towards you because what you're trying to do, and I'll show you once we get this off here, so take a look at this right here. You've got one, two, three, four, and these actually go underneath this very front portion right here, one, two, three, four. So you'll remember this when you're, when you're putting it back together. So I thought there was actually clips in the middle. There are not clips in the middle, but you can actually see the clip spots here. One, two, three, four, as you ran this guitar pick type, type tool all along the side right here, it's just detaching these clips right here. And then when you get to the very top here, the hinge, that is when you're gonna pull out. So you're gonna set this aside right here. And then what you're gonna wanna do, make sure we don't, make sure we got all the pieces there for all the screws. So what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna cut right here, and you're gonna see this ribbon cable also here. You're not gonna to touch any of the cables, but you're just gonna run your heat pad all along the top section here. Okay. So this heat pad right here has got plastic on top and the bottom. Almost feels like a gel. And once you stick it down, it's not like you can't move it, but you'll wanna just get it in place here to where you've got a nice cover. What's below that? The ribbon cable right here. No, I mean what's below the uh, black heat? Where you put the heat pad, is that what the CPU is at? Yep, so right below, right below this area right here, that is the CPU GPU, the system on a chip. And then I believe these are all the other components also, they do get warm. And what we're also just gonna do is just continue. All right, you might be asking the question too is, should you put the, the thermal pad over this ribbon cable? And I don't believe that putting the thermal pad over the ribbon cable is going to harm it because what it's ultimately doing, it's getting the heat in this, this thermal pad right here is already, or should I say this ribbon cable is already sandwiched between the case and between the CPU GPU. So it's meant to take that high heat directly on it. So. Again, this is very, very malleable. So if you do put this down or if you do want to get it more precise and you're thinking, I just want it as precise as possible, definitely do so. But again, I'm just laying it down here where this black area is. And all we're doing is just laying that right there. And we are about done. The only thing we're gonna do now is clean some of this up right here. So one more thing to add on, what we did do as we were putting this originally on, back on, it was a little hard to get this side clip closed. And then we noticed right here, this little notch. So we wanted to keep this open. So we just took and we cut back a little bit right here and then right here. 
Again, you're going to do the very same thing. So this is the very top. That is your speakers right there. This is a hinge. Make sure you take these four, go directly underneath these four right here. It, you may need a second pair of hands if you do this yourself, if you do have a second pair of hands. But again, you're just going to keep the pressure right here. And then what you're going to want to do is push forward, keeping pressure down, but yet pressure forward, putting it all back together. So push down, push down, push forward, push down, push forward. Again, no gap here. Want to make sure the body and the case, no gap. That way you know you've slid everything forward. And you're just going to want to press in. You can actually see what these clips look like right here. But you're just going to want to press in. You'll hear clips snap right back into place. This particular one might be a little bit harder. You may not hear it completely snap into place, but what you'll do is you'll see the gap right here also disappear. And that's when you know it's already in place because you've got your thermal pad about yay close. And that's what's keeping that clip from completely hearing that snap. But know that you don't, you don't have a gap. And we'll put the, we'll put everything back together here. And then that's pretty much it. So again, put these back, make sure you get the top, the top hinge screws at the top and the bottom and the bottom screws down at the bottom because they are slightly different. There is a little bit of a little bit of a difference right there where you've got like a, a little, little bit of a, of a, a gap right there without the screws or without like the threads of the screw which is why you're going to want to make sure that the top two are together and then the bottom two are also together. No gap up here because there's one, two, three, four, and then no gaps on any of the sides here. And then note to self is you can 100% put a case cover on here, uh, which we had before on our M1 Air. And the case cover, it again, it will get warmer down here, but the case cover is typically plastic, so the heat is still pulling from the CPU GPU. And this is essentially now, which the bottom plate is, your heat sink. So the, the, the air, or excuse me, the, the heat will be coming out of the CPU GPU and onto this plate right here, which again causes it to get hot, especially as you put it on your lap or put it on a bed. But again, because these M series chips are so efficient, it's going to be really when you're doing like high intensity tasks, like if you are going to be stabilizing any video clips, which it can do, will do, it will just get a lot warmer on this. But if you're using stuff like Final Cut Pro, depending on how many layers and how many, um, how much editing you're going to be doing, it's going to be just fine on here. Uh, the only thing that, uh, again, this, uh, the heat the thermal pad will do is just give you more performance uh, for more sustained workloads. Other than that, uh, you should see MacBook Pro performance in this MacBook Air uh, with it being just as super duper thin as you can get with the Air. And uh, yeah, that's it. Again, do this at your own risk and most likely it will void a warranty. So just know that. But if you like this video, found it helpful, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Thanks for watching. Bye for now.